My name is Mike. I'm going to do a quick instructional on what I keep in this backpack. And this is a backpack for ultra light backpacking. Uh, I haven't sacrificed any comfort or anything. And what I'm going to do is just take everything out of the pack and show you what I carry. This is just for, I'll say, two nights. And that's what I've got packed in here. If I was doing a longer trip, like 10 days, I'd have a little more food and a little more fuel. Let me start by just opening the backpack up and I'm going to pull things out one by one. It's my very nice cat, Spazzy, behind me, wanting to get into the action. So at the very top I have my rain gear. My rain gear, I don't worry about waterproofing this because if it does start to rain, I'll just put the rain gear on. So I have a few things. I have a rain coat. This is what's called a dry ducks rain coat. You can buy the rain coat and the pants for 25 bucks. It's cheap. Very breathable, very light, but not very durable. So what I need to do is be careful with that. This is a rain skirt, and this is made from the same dry ducks material. Uh, I take this instead of rain pants. I find this is much more versatile. This is just a simple wind shirt from Go Light, uh, about three and a half ounces. And uh, I find it's very, very effective piece of gear because for three ounces, I get a lot of warmth out of that. Now, if you look at my backpack here now, on the inside, I have a plastic bag. I'm going to start digging down into that plastic bag. This plastic bag is a white compactor bag. You just get it at the grocery store, you get five of them for about $4.50, so it's less than a buck a piece. Very durable. I'll use this pack for years. I'll use this multiple seasons, one after another. Okay, here, before I start going in there, I've got two liters of water. Excuse me. I've got a liter and a half of water. And this is just, um, these are just the lightweight, cheapo uh, spring water bottles from the grocery store. There's nothing at all fancy about these bottles. Uh, they are not as durable as some of the other bottles on the market, but I just, I just make an effort to be careful. So I'm going to start digging in from the top down. First thing I'm going to pull out is this, I just have a pillow. This is my pillow. It doesn't look very like much here. I'll explain it later in another video. It just consists of seven Ziploc bags, and this is a mesh a uh, bag that I got grapefruit at the at the at the uh, fruit stand. This here rattles a little bit is my cook set. I'm not going to bother opening it, but it's just basically a mug and some gear and this is only one of two stuff sacks that I carry in my pack. So, mug, this is everything I need to cook including the stove. This here is a mosquito head net. And inside the mosquito head net, this is a double does double duty. I'm using it as a stuff sack right now. Inside this right now is my sleeping socks, which are very light. They're short, just short little socks, cute, like that. Thin, short socks and extra pair of hiking socks. I have a balaclava, just a lightweight polyester balaclava. It'll go over my whole head. That's for sleeping at night. I have a hat, and this hat here if I take my hat off and it gets cold at night, I'm going to put this on and then I have sewn my headlamp on right in front there. So anytime I need my headlamp, it's going to be dark and anytime it's dark, it's going to be cool. So I want that warm hat. I also have in here a pair of long underwear. Nothing fancy about these. Synthetic long underwear. And I have a synthetic pair of glove liners. Just very thin glove liners, less than an ounce. This whole uh, thing does double duty as a mosquito head net and as a stuff sack for the clothes I'm going to wear. Also, near that, I have a uh, piece of string. This is just a, a synthetic piece of string that will be used to hang the food at night, a bear hang string. That's my food. This is food for two days, um, and I'm just leaving it in the stuff sack. This is the other stuff sack that I use, so I only take two stuff sacks. One for the uh, cook gear and one for the food. And I'll do a whole set of videos on the food. I have a great set of recipes that I enjoy cooking. Now, so this is my primary insulating layer. This is a down jacket, very lightweight, seven ounces. And it's by Montbell. And uh, so that would be my primary layer. That is also part of my sleeping gear. I will be sleeping with that. Now, in here now, what I'm going to pull out See, I'm pulling out, this is actually the bivy sack that I sleep with. And inside the bivy sack is my down sleeping bag. I'm hang the down sleeping bag up. So there's a down sleeping bag, very light. It's actually technically not a sleeping bag. It's what's referred to as a quilt. And this bivy sack, uh, very lightweight, it will blow away in the wind here. 
but um, I would use this over the top of my entire sleeping bag. Digging down, so that's the those are the that's the gear that I need to waterproof. So this plastic bag, there's nothing fancy about this. It's just a regular plastic bag from the grocery store. It's white, so I can see the contents on the inside. I'm going to make an effort to be careful with this because this is my primary piece of water protection or waterproofing. And inside here, I have my fuel, and this is my stove fuel, and it's in just a, what's referred to as a platypus. This is a, and I put it, and then I put a. Uh, squirt lid on top. And this reason for the squirt lid is it helps uh, when you fill the little reservoir for the stove. It's just a little easier to pour. And then I just put it in an old plastic bag. This plastic bag is doing nothing more than protecting the, uh, the fuel a little bit when it's inside my pack. And then I have, this is a two-person shelter. It's just a tarp. I don't have any stuff sack with it. Um, very lightweight. And this, um, I've spent many a night out in very, very harsh conditions and big rainstorms, and it is a very functional piece of equipment. And I'll do a video where I set this up and give you some demos on setting it up. And also in here is, these are my tent stakes, and this little envelope that I made the tent stakes is just a, uh, uh, made from a Tyvek envelope that I got from the post office. Very lightweight. There's 11 tent stakes. That's how many stakes it takes to set up the, the, the tarp. And I make sure not to lose any of them when I'm in the backpack. The final thing that's in the backpack here is, in the inside of the backpack, is my sleeping pad. And my sleeping pad has, I patched it in the field, I, it has a, an inflatable torso length pad. So just the length from about my shoulders to a little bit below my butt. Um, for comfort, that's inflatable, so I do have a very luxurious pad. And then what I did is I just glued, using a, you know epoxy from the hardware store, this very thin five millimeter uh, pad, thin yellow pad to the bottom. And and for me, this works great. This acts as the back frame for my backpack. The backpack now has nothing in it; it's totally just loose like this. Um, I also have a bear spray, which I keep attached to the backpack. While I'm hiking, I want it in a holster format. And I'll talk about that a little bit for hiking technique. Also in here, um, not in the main compartment, but in the back side, is a bandana. And I can use this when it gets sunny to protect my neck, like this. And for general washing things, um, I have, this is what I refer to as my dinky stuff. This has basically got my toothbrush, toothpaste, sunblock, and, uh, and vital stuff for the day. Um, I also have a very small first aid kit, about two and a half ounces. Um, and I'll go through the contents of that. It's all in the book. And I have a very small repair kit. And these, um, I, talk, I talked about not having stuff sacks. I have two, I have, or not having many stuff sacks. I have two stuff sacks. Those are for the food and for the cook gear. And I also have some Ziploc bags that I use for storage. So in essence, I do have a few extra stuff sacks, but these are just, uh, and I go ahead and these will last many, many seasons, these Ziploc. Now the, the bag itself, I did a little work on and I snipped some stuff off. This is a, uh, what's referred to as a Go Light Peak. That's the name of the bag, Golite is the company, and I went through with a scissor and uh, snipped a little bit of weight off of it. I got about eight ounces off this thing. So uh, uh, an already lightweight backpack got even lighter. In the follow-up videos, I'll be doing, uh, I'll get be talking more specifically about each individual gear. I'll be doing a lot of focus on the cooking and uh, the sleep systems. And I will add, that when I weighed this backpack with full water bottles and two days worth of food, it came out to 14 pounds. Pretty good. There. There you have it.